Hey guys, today we will auto verify users incognito. So some of the reasons why you would want to do this is for testing. It allows you to use dummy data to test um, your authentication flow. When I would test my authentication flow, I would have to manually verify my users. And I didn't like that. So I looked for ways to automatically verify users. So the testing would go automatically. So this is a very good use case for that. So what you need is um, AWS account, um, the CLI installed and CDK. And the tools we're going to use are Cognito, Lambda, CDK, and just for testing. So in our use case, a user will sign up and then Cognito service will trigger Lambda. And with your custom logic, you will send a response um, to back to Cognito. Cognito will then auto verify based on your response and then we should get a success back. All right. So this is very straightforward and Lambda code is very straightforward as well. So let's get it. So as always, we start with CDK init app. CDK init app and then language TypeScript. All right. So now that we've done CDK init app, we have all of the necessary files to start. So we will be working in the lib directory auto verify stack. So let's remove this and this. So the three things we need are the Cognito surface. Or let's put our Lambda trigger here, trigger and our client ID. That's what we're going to use to sign up. And let's do the client ID output so we can quickly put it in our environment variables. So let's start with the Lambda function. Um, it's very straightforward. So let's start with that index.mgs and export async function. And there. So we always have an event here. So let's let's quickly look at the docs to see what it looks like. So I'm going to put this in the description as well. So here you can see the flow for the pre-signed up lambda trigger. That's the trigger we need. And this is what the payload, the event payload looks like. So this is what you get in your event. This is what we're going to work with. So we are changing these values to true to auto verify the user. So you can have your own logic based on all of the data you're, you will get, you will receive in this event. So for us, it's going to be very straightforward. We're returning the event and we're overriding um some of the attributes so the response we don't need the verify phone because we're not going to use a phone um phone number i put all of this to true and this is the lambda code that's it very straightforward so let's go to the cdk docs so this is where so this is where everything regarding AWS CDK is. If you're using Python, you can go to Python here. If you're using TypeScript like me, you go to API reference. And then we're going to look for Cognito. You can also go to um, Lambda, but the, the code should be here as well. In Lambda triggers, yep. So you can use this. Okay, and then we just have to fix our imports. So CDK dot we're going to call this auto verify function. Latest, since we're just testing this, it's not a problem to have latest. So this has to match our code here. So 
index yep and then handler here so you always have to make sure it matches that and then um you have to import that and then this just goes to lambda because it's in the same directory as our auto verify stack folder okay so that's the function let's go to cognito so same thing we just go through the docs very easy to find what you need in the docs so just copy paste It's just going to leave everything as is. I'm going to change this to I don't need all of this. So we want users to be able to sign themselves up. So that's true. Um, we want a removal policy on destroy because this is a stateful surface. So if you don't the removal policy on destroy it will it will retain the surface even if you do cdk destroy since we don't want that to happen we need to do a removal policy and destroy awesome and our lambda triggers over here we need a pre-sign up trigger and that's going to be our auto verify function good now we need our client so for that, we also go to the code and here, app clients. We only need these two lines because you already have our pool. And then we have to actually assign this to the correct variable so we can add the client. Customer app client, that's good. So let's uh, output here um, so this is so we can easily copy paste the client ID and put it in our environment variables and then our props key is going to be client ID and then value is going to be client ID. Good. We should be good. All right. So now we can do CTK deploy. Okay, as you can see, it's done. Everything is done. And you can see our client ID here. This looks very long. Is it always this long? We can put this in our client ID here. All right. So just just so you can see what this looks like in the console, let's let's go to the console. So if you go to Cognito, which is here. Let me, let me zoom in a little. Okay. You can see auto verify user pool. You can see everything we created. You go to user pool properties. You can see the Lambda trigger we have. And app integration. You should be able to see the client ID. Yep. Oh. That's a long client ID. Okay. So we have our client ID. So I already wrote the tests. So we can run some tests to see that um, the client is verified. So we're just using um, see the SDK here. So client ID, that's what we're taking from our environment variable. And then we're just using all of this. So we might need something sophisticated here so that's going to be our password this is going to be our email and we're going to test 
you can see the sign of response here. I just took all of this code from the docs here. So this is just what I took and I just changed something. So here you can see what the response should look like. So we're just doing the test on um, user confirmed to be true. All right, so let's do a quick test. Just test, we only have one test, so just going to do a quick test. And as you can see, it passed. So that means um, we auto verified our user. Let's just double check here. Refresh this, you can see we have an auto verified user. So that's how you do it. Um, I hope you learned a lot in this video. I will be using CDK a lot when I make these videos because it's so much easier to work with that. As always, CDK destroy. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.